and um, TV shows and comics, it still hasn't gotten better in the video game spectrum of things. Okay. Um, mainly mm -hmm. because most of the games that have been like portrayed for like black ma um, male leads have been our very stereotypical thug games. Mm -hmm. Like um, Mark Echoes Getting Up, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, things okay. like that. Um, where, ah, sorry, I'm still making pancakes. <laughs> Ah, bacon alert. Ah. <laughs> but where Miles Morales is probably one of the first few games where it is a black male lead and he isn't being played up to be like this hood gangster person. Um, Miles Morales and then um, before him, Marcus from Watch Dogs 2 mm. because he was betrayed as like a technological um, hacker geek. But he wasn't like a thug or a nerd or oh, not a nerd, um, a thug or a gangster or anything like that. So like that's only two games I can think of off the top of my head where we aren't portrayed as a stereotype. And what, do you, as, what about what about Kareem Campbell? Kareem Campbell. As what? Kareem Campbell. Anybody heard of Kareem? I've Campbell? never heard. No, oh, from what no. game? Um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater Two Three. Man, that don't count. That's an emulator. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking like a, I'm thinking like actual like fantasy like this. That's like um. That's like saying we're being represented and we're you're playing 2K or Madden. <laughs> Def Jam. That is that's true. true. That is true. Like Def Jam fight for New York. Technically, that's like that like also falls on the lines of like the stereotypical side of things where like we're just nothing but like gangsters and thugs and hoodlums who just want to like destroy stuff there's no real narrative there mm -hmm. but that is still my favorite fighting game of all time I'm like, <laughs> yes, that oh my God. Like, really is, like, yeah. no they'll game. never make Dog, one like that ever Opa again F, ice tea mac 10 Ludacris, bone crusher flavor Wolfie. flame what a flame was in it too what? yeah, yeah flame was in it he was flame was nasty in that game too was just, he uh, it was nasty in that game. <laughs> he was the, he was the only guy that has the drunk he's nasty awesome. in real life. He, he was the only one that has the drunk <laughs> They put, they, I mean, they made, they made him, they made him so spot, they made him so spot on. I was like, yeah, he actually like this in real life. Missing teeth, ugly. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> had, had his skin tone in him. I was like, this is my first time I ever seen somebody pick 1201 as a skin tone. That's him. <laughs> Wow. Oh, real I got a mix. He's the, we got a mix. Favor Flav is black. Come on now. We, we know he's black. 1201. <laughs> I thought I've heard, I thought I heard a lot of them. I've heard Minute to Midnight, but never 1201. 1201. Wow. <laughs> Woo. I'm sorry. No, I, I'm, I'm stealing that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but somebody has something. I'm like, oh. I'm stealing. Yeah, Robble, Robble. I'm stealing no, I think, that. I think I heard of uh, Porter before Midnight. I heard that before before Midnight. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Or, or actually, no, I heard two more. Bernie Mac and Precious Pearl. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, gosh. I miss uh, Bernie Mac. Yeah, it's funny. Hey, what is your skin tone? Infinite Galaxy. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Infinite man. Galaxy. If you don't copyright that, if you don't copyright that, I'm king it. <laughs> See, I'm stupid though, because I hear Infinite Galaxy and I'm like seeing like the dark with all the hues of like the purples and the yeah. blues and like, you know, the whole Milky Way look and everything. Just like all sorts of beautiful. I ain't been in the space. I just know what I see. I look up, it's dark. Okay. Infinite universe. Infinite black. Ecstasy. <laughs> but um, those are some good points, though, with the video games. Because, like, when I was, like, trying to do research, like, that was, like, all the stuff that I was finding. It pertained to women, not men. Yeah. So I was just, like, you know very stumped on that but um did anybody else have any other like quite any more input on that question or anything else they wanted to add mm -mm. Uh, I, think, 
Go right to the next one. Okay. Okay. So for the second one, um, have you experienced or observed body shaming on social media concerning cosplay in the nerd community? Or like in general, like more for like men, because like we've been seeing mainly it happening to women. Oh, but oh yes. yes, yes. Unfortunately, yeah. you have that element just still seems to resound. You still have people who still want to be gatekeepers. They want to be perfectionists, but they want to do it against others because they're not fitting within their particular guidelines. Mm -hmm. And one thing I learned in cosplay coming up is you be yourself. You portray the character that you want to portray. Your body mm -hmm. size has got nothing to do with it. It's the passion you exude. Mm -hmm. Now, have I torn down well-known cosplayers for doing that? Absolutely. That's my favorite hobby at a convention. I don't care how many followers you have. You can have thousands and millions. You are a child in my eyes, and I will tear you down if you don't support other people. Mm -hmm. Fuck what you heard. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, wow. I, I, don't, I hear that. It's, I support. I support. That is like. Yeah. Go ahead. I mean, first of all, that was the first time I hear somebody use that cuss word properly. Good job, Mister <laughs> Navy. Um, but <laughs> but I but I agree because of course I'll be saying a lot. And of course, when I see it, people will send me the screenshot so I can make their ass famous. But it's the same because because people because people now they try to they they deal with so much at home. Mm -hmm. They find other they find other options mm -hmm. to to let their energy out on other people. And of course, for us being you know blurred and nerds, this would be like the perfect community to do it on because like they feel like some of these female, especially females, getting attacked more than guys mm. because. They, because they feel females, you know, are very, some of them still had that same mindset, like back in like the early 80s and 90s, like women were less than men. And they, I'm, I'm pretty sure they, some of their parents taught them that mindset. And um, they feel as though like we can attack women and we can let our energy off of them because I'm pretty sure ain't nobody going to care. Like you playing, you doing Sean Lee, Sean Lee is not that fat. And I'm like, first of all, Sean Lee is a, a, a you know, a fictional video game character so why are you coming to her like that and it gives them the gratification and you know the satisfaction of them because like i now i got that off my chest because now i'm making this person feel less of themselves so i don't have to worry about it and plus being it being the social wealth of you know media platform like nobody really gonna find me they all they gonna do is type and talk crap on the internet towards me so mm -hmm. It, it, it's, it's a common it's, it's a common thing now yeah. yeah i went after somebody who posted and i i actually went back to the cosplayer and apologized i'm like i'm sorry i turned into rage monster on this person on your behalf i don't even know you but um they did um from a character from the fire nation and mm. he did the beautiful costume i'm sitting there going I don't even have the energy to put that much work into anything, let alone a, you know, so, I mean, the work was beautiful. And he happened to be a very dark skinned gentleman. And mm. the comment was, yeah, well, you're the burnt version of the character. Uh oh. Oh, what I, in the world? Oh, I, I, that I was like, how dare you how dare you say that and they, and then it didn't even dawn on me because i was like oh crap this may be a friend of this person and they can joke like that but i'm like not not where nice. and i and I the person still, they I, were I like, like that. huh i still don't think friends joke like that, though even yeah, if friends, and I was, yeah friends and you I, know their level with you, yeah like, but you know. also you even don't, though you think hey that would be funny, whatever still yeah there's lines to cross there's lines right. you can cross even at and first yeah. right and it's even if it's your friend you don't post something like that in front it, you keep your family's laundry in the house yeah, you exactly. do, it's one of those you things you you. and i hate you for those pancakes i'm just I letting you know, know. <laughs> but steaming hot and everything yeah. brother bringing out <laughs> breakfast no <laughs> you wrong you wrong there's two left shoes man yeah. first we got <laughs> And now we got bread. I'm making pancakes. Strawberry syrup? You got the strawberry syrup on that? What? what? You think you're <laughs> I want the grapes, though. Where's the grapes? 
Do you have your carafe of coffee right there as well? You know? <laughs> you of, juice? Of, of course you do. Of course you do. Oh my but, God. Yeah, but I, I went after and they were like, yo, it's just, it's just Thanks. a joke. Thanks, it's there goes that's my stomach serious. Now. Thanks. <laughs> but I was like, oh no. I'm like, this is not allowed to go across my eyes without. Mm -hmm. And some people, I, ha I know I have a problem. I do think I'm a superhero. So I'm one of those people yeah. that if I saw somebody do it in the street, I would still jump on them. Mm -hmm. But it, it's, um, I, it, I was so, and I'm like, CK, this kid works so hard CK, on this cosplay. Yeah. CK, it's a newsflash. You are a superhero. Yeah, yep, you are. Mm -hmm. You are. <laughs> you are. But, I mean, you are our Ms. Marvel. That's all that matters. Yeah. Okay? Can I ask you a question? Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do y'all feel like, when anyone's online, they get that extra boldness in them when they're online. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Keyboard warriors. Oh, yeah. Keyboard. Yeah. 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 If, if they saw you yeah. face to face, they wouldn't say that. Yeah, exactly. Now, they oh, crumble. Yeah. Crumble. So my brother, yeah. so my younger brother, which I, I listen to my little a lot more because he's more about promoting the community, whatever, helping small businesses, whatever. So I learned a little bit more from my younger brother than anyone else. So he was telling me about um, black female cosplayers, and I was like, I don't think I know any besides my friends. He was like, man, you behind, man. You know this cosplayer, that cosplayer. But he was showing me this one female, black female cosplayer. She was doing Nezuko from Demon Slayer. And just so happened, we saw the first comment. And the first comment, we were just like, wow. <laughs> OK. And, and someone was like, hey, you need to do your research or your work because you know Nezuko's not black. Mm -hmm. And I was like, his ass. I knew it was going to go either. that way. And then you reply back. And then and then you reply back. Well, well he not white either. So we're they're, Japanese. <laughs> they're Japanese. They're so, uh, Japanese. <laughs> but it's not. It's not even a case of, uh, uh, especially with a lot of anime. Somebody was telling me, it's not even so much that they are Japanese. Because let's be honest, you look at anime. You look at Japanese people and it's not quite always the same. Okay. So it mm -hmm. is their fantasy version of human beings mm -hmm. that come mm -hmm. in. That's why they have every single hair color in the rainbow that now people are walking down the street with all these different hair colors of the rainbow. That's yeah, why too. they have. Flesh tone. That's my hair yeah, color. Mine. That's yeah. why. <laughs> that's right. If I'm with that, yes, sir. Yeah, that's why they have the 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 big eyes, yeah. which which you know I I've I've grown up knowing in Asian culture that is a desirable trait, mm -hmm. and it's a trait that um, I I hope they don't do this anymore. But I remember years ago yeah. when I was a kid hearing about women getting the surgery to make mm -hmm. their eyes bigger, mm -hmm. to remove the fold so that they can have a double fold. Mm -hmm. That's actually you know? cool thing. So yeah. it, are they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Love hey y'all! I, I hate to jump out. I have to get to work. Yes. I've got comic books to sell and Yu-Gi-Oh cards to trade. So. Okay. Much hey, love man. to all of us. Y'all are a Justice League of amazing people. Anybody hey, tell you I'll less? Atlantis, how, Atlantis, Atlantis games and comics. Yes, I work. I in one see you all the time. Oh, jeez, <laughs> I was just two years ago trying to get some comics. It's I'll, I'll a see. small world after all. It's a small world. No, no, no. It's a bald world after oh. all. <laughs> Halfway there. Halfway there. Facts. Everybody game. here Halfway is game. amazing. I know some of y'all offline, but those who I don't know, please reach out to me because y'all are fam as far as I'm concerned. I love every one of you. Divas, killing it every time. Y'all better keep doing your thing. Fellas, oh, represent. Be the heroes that you are. CK, Ms. Marvel, you already know what time it is, boo. Yep. I know what time it is. <laughs> Mr. Blur it over. Keep being that representative. Keep being that spark. You hear me? Yeah. Shine that light, man. If you disappear no, like to me on that again, I will come down to yo yon and I will uppercut you. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't do that because that that was scary. When you I do apologize for that. <laughs> yo, and Jaeger, you ain't spoke very much. Don't worry. We're gonna talk later, sir, because you got ooh, your channel. <laughs> and your channel slaps like a like like hitting a fat kid with cake just right there. Oh. I'm telling you. <laughs> All right. Much love, everybody. I'll holler at y'all later. Bye, take it easy. Bye. 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 Bye.
<laughs> I'll add on what y'all were saying. Um, I was actually talking about this to my little sister, mm-hmm. and she she said something that actually I, I really agreed with. She said cosplay is supp- is not you supposed to be as close as the character that you're trying to be. It's you taking that character you see and making them your own. Right. It's supposed to be a fun thing. So when they do things and they do their own little modifications to the cosplay or they even trying to look a certain type of way, it's because that's something they want to do. And Mm -hmm. people should just accept that. They shouldn't be poking out their differences and trying to nitpick at at all. It should just be, well, you accept it. Um, We see them, they look great and leave it alone. My reason is so hard to get rid of that kind of animosity, I guess you could say, towards that when it comes to being... I like what you said, because like you said, cosplay is supposed to be made for fun and like you said, get close to that character as possible. But you know, by us being, you know, the older generation, like the diehard nerd head, the diehard come of a fans, they expect the cosplayers to be the exact to that favorite character. Mm-hmm. That's what that's what they expect. But our expectations is different from theirs. Mm-hmm. So like the old schools, they they up they expect when they go to the convention, they expect to see a dead on Wonder Woman, a dead old Green Lantern, a dead on Superman. That's what they expect to see. But of course, when they get there, they could be disappointed because There's so many everybody, right? Some and we are not we don't have the same mind as them. We we are everybody on here is their different person, and of course they want to put their own style and drip to their cosplay. Right, and. Not for nothing. I mean, God bless the cosplayers that go detail. God bless the cosplayers that can spend ten thousand dollars on their cosplay. Exactly. Somebody has to pay am I, am me. I, am, I, am, I, am I the only person that do that too? Like, you ever, you ever look at a cosplay? I mean, like a, a a character. Like, man, I would love to do that, but that's like so much work. Blah blah blah. You see someone else be doing. This, you're just like, wow, the time, the money. I do it. You I ever mean, see someone like that? You, yeah, I mean, it's it's beautiful, but honestly, if I'm going to be doing it dead on, mm-hmm. there has to be a check with it. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Yeah. <laughs> no, this, this thing's hard, man. People put like 10 to 12 hours a day on it. It's Lily Ob now. Like, so why not? You know, you're putting in full-time hours. Yeah. Almost six to seven days a week. Why not? It's exhausting. Yeah, I'm like. I mean, I, I, I give those people. I I give those people credit because I say, dude, that's that's dedication. I couldn't do it, but that's dedication. But I, I appreciate you for doing that. <laughs> the own construction, the own DOI, own painting. They paint. They create whatever shape shift. They cut so cut so. There's hours into this. Hours. It's ridiculous. Whatever. And it gives it gives, and it gives you that little bit of um, appreciation. When you try it, you're just like, oh, this is exhausting. I don't know if I can do it. You see someone else do it, you're just like, wow. Yeah. I know how hard it is for you to make that. And you already completed it and plus. Yes. And plus. I gotta you gotta respect oh, that. You gotta hell yeah. I, I buy it's weird how people would I bow down to that every it's exhausting. Time. It's completely exhausting. And, and I, I also say all that stuff. I don't, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> like, maybe, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't know how to do any of that. I, I still have to hear how Divas be doing. I was like, Yo, how do y'all do that? <laughs> hey, hey Divas, hey, Divas be clowning with they cosplay too. I was like, hey, they did I that. love your backgrounds <laughs> that you put, like your backgrounds. Man, what? You post it, they come with the backgrounds like, too? I'm is, like, is she, yeah, is she, you is she like with, at a haunted mansion? I'm like, that is so awesome. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I have to now go get things. I now- so I see, I see like divas. I see. I'm like, I'm like, can I give myself like cosplay is just fine. I just gonna do it on the side. I see like divas and others. I'm like, I'm not doing enough cosplay. I'm slacking. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What about my life? I'm slacking. I need, I need, I need two new cosplays by next week. <laughs> Y'all really be doing your thing. There, there's yeah. nothing worse. I'm feeling bad you. right now. Cause y'all talking about people spending all this money, and I'm like, I'm about to drop six hundred dollars on a Miles Morales suit what? as soon as it comes out tomorrow. Wow. <laughs> Boy, save your money. It's twenty twenty four. But, but your that's the no, thing. No, but see, I've been saving up for this though. Like, so right. um, oh, it's, for this specific five suit. 
Um, there have been other people who made suit patterns and like Heroes Time has put out their suit, Zentai Zone put out their suit, but I'm like, I'm not getting these suits because it's not to the quality I want it to. It doesn't, they have the little digital details on it, but it's not the actual pop out details that you see in the trailer. And then RPC Studio yeah. dropped. I don't know if y'all follow RPC Studio, but they dropped their little their little screenshot of the video, of the fabric they were working on. And as soon as I saw it, I'm like, well, there goes six hundred dollars right there. Yeah. They didn't even drop the price yet. I just know from knowing RPC Studios that it's going to be between three hundred to six hundred. And this is for a a suit completely made, or is it just a fabric and you have to suit get it made? made. Suit completely and made. And they made it, make it custom. Like you send mm -hmm. them all the yep, measurements. all the measurements. And then mm -hmm. they are nice. Like they are really nice. <laughs> yeah, I have a couple of their suits already. Yeah. Oh, so like, oh, oh, I'll wait till he's um, they, 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 nice, right? they fit nice and snug, right? They do. They're like some of the most comfortable suits I have ever worn. Um, having suits from Heroes Time, Zentai Zone, um, AliExpress, and RPC. Um, it is definitely worth the money because they're the most durable out of um, the four. Excuse me. And they also have more variety. So they have your regular Zentai Lycra suit, and then they also have the screen print suit. But if you're spending the extra money on a screen print suit, you can't be doing all the extra stuff that you'd be doing in a Lycra suit because the screen print, that if you sweat too much, Shift. if you sweat a lot, don't waste the money on it. And they even put the warning on there too, like, hey like you can't do too much in these suits because the um the detail is going to break down oh, oh. So, oh wow like, it's more so like you put it on it's more so like your photo shoot suit okay but, but you else. still have to like it's a suit that you have to okay we're going on camera put yeah. it on because if you're doing lights and all of that stuff you're still so, sweating through all that so basically mm -hmm. so basically you can be like a, a cosplay king i guess yeah. <laughs> oh, the whole point time. Is, there's a lot of underground lesser known cosplayers, like, like some of the smaller town cosplayers, they know about stuff like that. So they'll be like, hey, since you know, some people are bigger than others, some people are smaller, blah, blah, blah. They'll start switching material, whatever. Just be like, okay, I like this design, but we use this material. This is someone's bigger, or they sweat, this, this stretches out, whatever, and all that. I feel like more smaller town cosplayers, like, when they think about stuff like that, when they design their own whatever, I, they I take that ex extra little bit of um like consideration, and I I love that too. I, don't know, I just feel like I just see different kind of like create creativity or kind of push from like more smaller time cosplayers when they make their own outfits. Um, and then that's, that's, how, like, that's how that's how small time cosplayers stand out more because they get because they really be detailed. They want to you know they want to be be seen and her and that's how small town cosplayers become big town cosplayers because they take the time and the they did they just take the time to put all the words and details into their cosplay so they extra, they extra careful designs whatever like little extra tails whatever stuff like that or just love that character so much when you call someone it's someone you admire whenever someone you look at even just one character you see one show, one time you're like, oh, that one character, I'll try them, whatever. It's you showing the admiration of that character in form. You're putting into costume to, to show your admiration of that character. So, yeah. of course, you want to give an extra little bit of, um, you know, admiration, the consideration to doing stuff. that character. Yeah, I don't know about y'all, but some of these cosplayers, they be looking better than the actual character themselves. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, that <laughs> <real> oh. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was the only one. I was like, dang, you, you this actually look pretty damn good. You you should be the real Batman. I was like, damn, I ain't never seen that kind of detail before. <laughs> <laughs> like like no no Robert Patton, you should be Batman. Mm. <laughs> so we ready for the next question? Yeah. So um I guess did anybody else yeah. have anything else to put in on that that question or we can move to the next one? I'm just waiting quietly. Um, next one. <laughs> okay. Right. I'm sorry, we got way off topic. <laughs> so, I mean, it's good that we kind of stopped on that point about talking about like um cosplay and people taking like really attention to details and things like that. So the next question is kind of like related to that. Um, like, have you guys like ever like 
experienced or like observed like a um a cosplayer of color being questioned about like the accuracy of their cosplay because of like their skin tone, their features, any yes. of that stuff. Oh, that's twenty four seven on IG. Yeah, yeah. It I, was I, I me. In the bus. Yeah. Yo. I, remember, I remember one time I um, blurred over commenting on that, and I was like, "Who said it?" He was like, "Oh, don't even worry about it." Man. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, "Don't even worry about it. Don't I handle it?" Yeah, I'll take care of that real quick. <laughs> it's it's, it's I, like like when my man said, "Um, the easy base, but it just should be like it's just supposed to be for fun." This is like our getaway. This is what takes us away from the real world because we're in this community where we could be somebody else and we could be somebody else who we who we feel we can relate to. So it shouldn't matter if my costume is not exactly like their costume. It shouldn't matter of my skin tone. It shouldn't matter if we look alike. It's this, I can relate to this character and I feel me and this character got a lot of similar traits. So this is who I want to be. This is who I want to go to the conventions and if little kids see me, of course I'm gonna act. I'm gonna act as that character to to the best of my ability, and that's what it's all about. But then again, it goes back to it. It really goes back to racism and gatekeeping, yeah. gatekeeping and racism. Those those like the two main things right now in the community that's actually trying to destroy it: racism and gatekeeping. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, I had a personal experience actually of um. A, I wouldn't say racism. I wouldn't say that whatever. Maybe it was like a little bit of a debate. I always call it, a, I don't think it was an argument. It was like more of a debate. So basically, um, does anyone heard of a game, Five Nights at Freddy's? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So before I get into that, uh, I was looking at Seattle at the time. I have these three friends of mine named um, Argent, um, Desiree, and Ash, um, three white girls um, from the West, loving the death. They saw, when I started cosplaying, like around 17, 18, they did not like that I personally only picked, like, darker characters. Always darker characters are included with the cosplay. They never liked They're like, no, you should branch off. Don't be afraid, whatever. Do what you want. So the first character I want to do was um, Jeremy Gerald of Five Nights. Now, the funny thing about Fighters at Feast, when you play it, it's point of view. Point of view, and plus, you don't get any details about him. His name, race age, how tall he is, how short he is, and all that. So what fans did, they'll speculate or make their own version of what Jerry Fitzgerald looked like, whatever. So you'll see like five, six, ten versions of Jerry Fitzgerald because you never know what he was. So everyone made their own design of Jeremy Fitzgerald from Fitz and Freddy's. And I love that. So I made my own Jeremy Fitzgerald and someone was like, we, were, we started discussing and they're like, how do you know Jeremy Fitzgerald is um black? And I was like, how do you know he's not anything else? Over? He was like, well, Jeremy Fitzgerald knows a black name. And I was like, hold up. <laughs> Facebook. I found three black Jeremy Fitzgerald. <laughs> serious? Nice comeback. Yeah. 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 Nice. And that's what killed me. I was like, what? Uh, just full stuff like that, whatever. And then <laughs> finally another case, I think about two or three years later, I started getting more comfortable, started doing other cosplays. Like, um, favorite cosplay? Which you'll see on my um my um IG Ness Ness from um Smash Brothers and Earthbound um small kid uh, about 10, 12 years old and all that I love doing or whatever and it's funny because people look at me and be like aren't you like a 20, 30 year old big black guy and I was like why Ness can't be a big thirty year old black guy? <laughs> and just that, that was fun, me finally brashing out I'm like what. I like this character. I love him so much. I want to play him. It only matters to me because this is the character I like. I want to play him, whatever. This is this is what I want to do. Right. Exactly. And it took me a long time to get that point. It took me a long time and a lot of self talk because I feel like it might like Ashley, sorry, they didn't push me for it. And they pushed me be like, hey, do what you want to do. I probably still wouldn't be today, honestly. And then that's another thing too. People like. We do characters that's like not very well known in uh -huh. you know the community, but that's the thing. If you do like 
we see a thousand Gokus. We see a man. We and now I'm seeing a big surge of Velma cosplays coming up now. And yeah, I love you. It. Could all, I, I don't know. I don't know how that happened, but I was like, is it an anniversary of Scooby Doo or something? I, I no, don't know, but I, I mean, it. Steven well, Velma. No, I don't know, but it's, I love it's a meme. Velma. Actually, it's a meme. It's a meme. Um, what? I'm old, no. So what I'm happened not is hip to what's new. No, it was a meme. A lot of from. people like grew grew up like in death. They were like death, but she was a sexy one. And finally, people growing up no, and they were like, no, she hey, won't. She wasn't. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> and everybody's like, wait, it's all about like Velma. Velma. You like Velma too? You like Velma too? And all of it, everyone starts switching from Daphne to Velma. Oh, okay. A few months. No, nah, see, switch. like anytime I was watching Scooby Doo, I already knew Velma was throwing it back. She's like, "Gee, I lost my glasses." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Yes." Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yes. I oh, she got that dumb. Oh my god. No, bro. Oh my god. Be for real. Be for real. Every time. Every every episode. Every episode. I'm never gonna see it the same again. No. Let me drop your glasses. Get get this girl some tape. Every time you drop your glasses on the ground. Come on, <laughs> and she had and she had on a skirt. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. she slick. With the knees, hey, girl, you need help with the knees. You help with glasses. I can find your glasses. Tell me, I help you look for your glasses. Let me show. Mm -hmm. I can't. So the come here, friend. Come here, friend. Like, oh, I can't. I'm not just watching Scooby Doo no more. <laughs> <laughs> I just like how everybody splits up though. Like, over the most splits up like that all my, like within months. This is not your mama, Scooby Doo. That's my favorite movie. It was Scooby Doo on Zombie Island. Yeah, though. Oh yes. There was so much sexual tension in that movie. It really was. It really was. I was like, is this a porn? Like as a kid. <laughs> As a kid, I didn't realize it. As an adult, I went back and watched it, and I'm like, yo, everybody was just trying to fuck except for Shaggy and Scooby. And you know, they <laughs> like, were just high the whole time. You know, stuff older, you're older, you start noticing stuff you never was before, like for real. Yeah. He Man as an adult is a whole different show. It's all. Watch, <laughs> yeah, watching it now, I'm like, um. um the old. Um, <laughs> Oh. The old um the old Powerpuff Girls is a different show when you're adult because some of the jokes you be like, oh mm -hmm. wait, <laughs> wait, mm -hmm. what? Yo, yeah. Dexter's Lab. Dexter's Lab. Yeah, yeah. Yo, let's not get anybody say But basically like basically what I'm saying, like people and that's enough, people are trying to push people that's the to cosplay the well-known characters in the nerd community, but you know, everybody's doing them. And it's only so much you can do with the popular character to try to make it your own. And you know, you try to sit, try to sit yourself there to try to make yourself stand out. So that's why people do these lesser known characters, which are coming up now. And then once they come up, we're gonna have to reevaluate and start looking again to find lesser known characters again to cosplay. I also love when people do because I'm, I'm a person that literally I can just sit there and I don't even have to go to any other tables. Just let me watch all the various cosplays go back and forth. I, I get giddy about it. And I love when people take their own interpretation mm -hmm. of a character yeah. so that mm -hmm. you look at it and you know it's that character, but oh, it's in a whole different, you know, the character in a different universe, in a different light. And I just love to see the individuality that will always yeah. come through, right. you know, with the various cosplays. And especially when you do not look like how the artist mm -hmm. created the character, but not for nothing. I truly believe as an artist, when you create something and then you give it to the public, it is now theirs mm -hmm. and they can interpret mm -hmm. it and do with it what they will because that is what the giving of art is so that's mm -hmm. so that's that's your next level after people do the less known characters is doing okay do a funky take on you know right. do snow white if she you know bit the apple mm -hmm. what happens what does she look like then you know Snow Black. <laughs> huh? Yeah. No, I said Snow Black. Yeah. 
soon? No. No, it's no, but um, I feel like I feel like give me a give me a man. a character, especially popular character. Of course, everyone loves popular characters, but when a lot of people don't like to admit when they have a love for a less, a lot of people don't admit. Oh, I like this one character here. Like, no, we only talk this character. So I know a lot of people feel some type of when they probably admit like a known character. So when I see people cosplay a lesser character, that shows you how much they're dedicated to that character. Yeah. Especially a lesser known, that's a lot of courage. So especially like, imagine you're walking around a con, you're like, hey, that cosplay looks familiar. Who is that? Oh, that's a ball from this show. And you're like, how do you remember that character? <laughs> oh, I just love that little bit of love right there. So it shows you not only how much they love and honor that character, but the dedication to that lesser known character to show everyone, hey, this character is just as important as this higher up there on the same show. Yeah, it's gonna get to the yeah, point where people are like high playing as extras. <laughs> just like the, the background <laughs> characters you see in the crowd. Somebody, yeah. uh, I saw somebody cosplay as that guy. Literally, that was their cosplay. I'm it was the sign that says, I'm that guy. Oh, and that was their cosplay. And I was like, you know what? I rock that. on. I re- <laughs> rock on. Because you're that guy. It's so simple. Uh, so um, so simple. I've seen a lot of people do cosplay mashups, which are really cool. Like our friend Charm Nera, like her Harley scissor hands. Like yeah, that fire. is phenomenal. Like I love it. And, that know, name, the name alone, go hard as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Harley, Harley scissor hands, like, dude, what? That's, that's no. hard. You know, I've been seeing a lot. I've seen a lot of black Deku, like a black Deku. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. real um, Deku from My Hero Academia. If you look at his shoes, his shoes, he has Air Force, like he has Air Forces as shoes. Oh, which I'm like, bro. I was, I was like, what Nike got those shoes from? It's like the black, it's like the black and red Georgia colors too. Like, damn. <laughs> But um, also, too, just kind of going off of that, too, with putting your own spin, like, another, another thing that we've been, like, noticing on IG, especially, especially with um, people doing the character and then also wearing, like, the textured wigs, mm-hmm. like, afros or curls and things like that with the cosplays, like, what what are y'all's thoughts on, on that? Like, y'all like seeing it? <laughs> he brought his hands yes. together. I'm like... Give me this. So, um, surprise, guys, I'm bald. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> I do not have the luxury that um, cosplayers with hair have to where they can just dye their hair or style it to wherever they want. Um, right. And this also ties into the last question before this is the um, things, um, comments I have received in my DMs, which, you know, I don't publicize because I just tell them to fight me if they don't like how I, what I'm cosplaying. Like, I'll beat your ass. Like, I don't Speak do all facts. that talking shit. Like, you you going to try to come in my DMs, I'll fight me, bro. Like, where you at? We can, like, fisticuffs it and then go get something to eat afterwards. But, like, you're not going to come in here and disrespect me like this. So, it's, um... It's never be like DMs, like, hey, meet this IHOP, we get eat first before you. Like. Yeah, like, Bro, I don't play that. So, like, one of the... Like, um, like meet me at the Zion Hop at 12 o'clock. <laughs> we gonna get the Never in the Pancakes after I beat your ass, but, like, we gonna, we gonna settle this. Like, the cosplay, um, actually, my probably, I think, most popular cosplay right now, because it has the most likes on my page, is my Rock Lee, my take on Rock Lee. Because mm-hmm. um, um, he's one of my favorites from Naruto. He didn't get as much shine as he should have. Like, he peaked in the fight of Gara, and then like he had the um the drunken fist um tidbit um in the mission to save sasuke but like after that did nothing significant for the rest of the series which i feel like the writer has failed because like he's his mentor is mike guy who was like you know recognized by madara as the greatest ninja ever so like you have his pupil who is like right there, who Mike guys also said, yeah, the one person I don't want to fight is Lee. <laughs> like, how do you not do anything with this character? 
So like he's holds a special place in my heart because he always works hard and he wasn't blessed with the special talent as everybody else. Like all he did was grind and I appreciate that. But the thing I did with him is I didn't get the wig. Mm-hmm. I chose not to get the wig because I'm I'm not I haven't worn a wig for any other of my cosplays. Mm-hmm. Why would I get a wig now? So um a couple comments I've received were um baldly, niggly. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but like, yeah. Um blackly. Oh, false. Did you just say niggly? Yeah, niggly. Somebody actually somebody actually called you that? Bro, white people are so uncreative. <laughs> that nah, come on. Bro. <laughs> Wait. Bro, Wait, I that... should, if I could send you the <laughs> screenshots, one dude said, there was this one time. This this is wild. One time, um, this was like what <sighs> two maybe two, maybe three years ago. Um, um, this one white dude got all the black um Spider-Man, like some like the biggest black Spider-Man cosplayers together. It's um me. Cosplay Nay, Neon Spidey, T Stunning Spidey, um, and a couple other um black Spider Mans in this group, right? Mm-hmm. Went straight in, was like calling us the hard ER, saying that Spider Man is not black, he's white. You need to find somebody else to cosplay as. And I'm just in the group chat, was like, this man really said all this without paying me first. <laughs> so, so you chose so, him down. So he he keeps on going in. Everybody's arguing with him, trying to make sense of it. And I'm like, yo, y'all aren't changing his mind. So I just started sending him invoices for every time he commented for $200. Every (laughs) single time he made a comment, I sent him an invoice for $200. (laughs) (laughs) What's his account again? I got got I got a friend around the corner. I need to no, we, got his, we got his account deleted. And then he came back on another account. This is where it gets like not safe for work because it gets wild. Um, <laughs> comes back on another account and puts me and Neon Spidey in a message. I don't know if I'm allowed to say anything, but um, he is a cuck. <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows what that is in this I, chat. If I, you do. Okay, you watch porn. So, um, first of all, everybody watches porn. Hold up, first of all, everybody watches porn. So, pretty much, he sends us a message. No, the internet is for porn. Exactly. (laughs) So he comes back and he's like, "Um, you ERs got my page. Um, got deleted. I had to create a whole new one. Fuck you guys." I'm like, "Oh, you're back." And then, like months later, he says, "Um, pull up the screenshots real quick." I, I just I, had to look up your Rock Lee, and I was like, "Yes, right. well, um, now we go hard, don't we?" Thank you. Hot damn! <laughs> <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh my! Indeed. First of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna get in shape first with Tribe, though. I'm gonna get in shape. I need to get in shape first with Tribe Rock Lee. <laughs> no, man, just do Rock Lee, bro. Just do you. Do you? Because because um, you so. be real with me. Be real with me. Rock Lee had a different idea than everybody. Else. Everyone was like, oh, ninja this, substitute that, whatever. When Rock Lee came in, like, oh, I only got taijutsu. And everybody's like, you only got taijutsu? He made it work, though. He, Rock Lee made it work. Mm. <laughs> Some so of that weight so drop. Like, the, the weights, come on, when he dropped the weights. Because Rock Lee's based off of Bruce Lee. Guy Sensei is based off of Bruce Lee when he was older. Rock Lee is based off him when he was younger. He speaks. Man, what? I was so happy to say, oh my God, he talked. Thank you. <laughs> Man, I was just like, I want brother to say something, please. Look, all you had to do was say something about Naruto. Because <laughs> I was going to come over there and say, dude, dude, do I got to tickle you or something? You going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> like, talk, brother. No, Spidey, what's your workout regimen? I didn't mm-hmm. know that, though. Um, I hit you up later on that one. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah, so dude hits us back. He was like, please, um, forgive me. I just really wanted you guys to fuck my wife. What? <laughs> what? what? Yo, yo what? I will send y'all the screenshots, bro. Like, it's wild. Oh, my God. What? Like, oh, oh, oh. First, first, first of all, if I may, um, <laughs> for gentlemen that are into that, I could tell you which clubs you can go to where you can get that. Hey, DM, oh DM me. <laughs> 
you don't Man. go up to just anybody and asking for services like that. Yeah. 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 What the wife look like? <gasps> <laughs> oh no, you didn't. Oh, no. You didn't. Oh. No, yes, it, like, if he's gonna do that, I would have been petty with it too. As much as he petty, he, as petty as he was, Did like you send ago, him an invoice was, for that request? Back. I like, so I, I didn't like send the passion. invoice. I just told him like my rates include travel, place to stay, food, five hundred dollars <laughs> hourly, and a tip. <laughs> nice. And by a tip, you don't mean just mozzarella sticks left on the table. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <sighs> no, but we, but but now, but now. But his wife, but his wife didn't get the tip. Yeah, I just sent y'all a screenshot in the group. Oh my chat. god! <laughs> I'm sorry. That's that's that was so humble, so unprofessional. So I I just sent the screenshot in the group chat. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. That is crazy. No, you should have asked him. Hey, am I getting paid for this? Am I getting paid for this? <laughs> like, See, I ain't gonna just, be. I ain't gonna be. I ain't gonna be putting my post on the blood over page. I would have been petty. <laughs> oh, <I would've> been. <laughs> <laughs> is this person still on Instagram? Yeah, that's what I was. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> no, he um, he left. Yeah, there's to a certain point where I'm like, ha 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 ha. Okay, you're an asshole. You need to lose your account. And then yeah. there's certain times that I'm like, hello, corporate. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah, turn. Like, yeah. He was even yeah. going as far as stealing our photos and posting it as his own while still oh, no. like. Calling us the monkey version of this, that, and third. Like he was pretty much Frieza. <laughs> oh, boy, you beat me to the punch. Oh, I'll be Frieza. Racist yeah, crazy. Crazy. There you go, racist. Yeah. That's crazy, like, man. Toriyama really taught racism with Frieza. Yeah. I can't. Uh, that's crazy. That's, oh, man, that's, that's, that's crazy. crazy. That's wild. I've seen some crazy people on there because we get some crazy comments too and DMs. I'm like, what the world? Cause see, when imagine. people are smart with me, they never do it publicly. They mm -hmm. you will never see a comment on my page, but you can go through my entire like profile. They will never make a derogatory comment about me in public unless they know me and it's like an inside joke between the, us two. Right, right. But any he of the other it. stuff happens in my DMs. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. The same goes with me because uh, y'all don't <laughs> see it, but I get all. Oh, Kind of messages from people that's not of color. Not even talking about you trying to divide. You trying to divide the cosplayers. We we don't we didn't we didn't mean that. Um, they can't be a black cosplayer. I say no 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 no. I've been saying this too much. So if y'all want to keep saying black in front of every cosplay, mm -hmm. we we gonna give you a reason. I'm gonna give you a show. I'm gonna give you a reason to talk. Now mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you just so you just sit back and relax and just and just admire. All this great blackness that's being posted on this page. So chill out. Yes, sir. Right. And yeah, they still come on that page, but with like, oh, these are great, great cosplays. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then go and then go straight to my DMs. Yo. You do know that, that he's not black. Don't worry. I'm gonna make you really? famous. <laughs> <Plain shot. laughs> I definitely wanna thank you for that too. Hey bro, you my great. wife. Yeah. We want say it again. When we had sent you that screenshot, that person was talking about Christy's Nina cosplay, and I had sent it to you, and he's like, don't worry, I got you. <laughs> right. Wait, who, who was talking about, who, who? Okay. Who? It's, it's, on, it's, on, it's on my, it's on my page. see that. It, it happened to both of us, but recently, Christy, we cosplayed Anna and Nina from Tekken, and some guy was just like, did you get that from a Halloween store or something? It looks like a Halloween costume that she doesn't wear that outfit. And, just, oh. and Divas, hey, here's the crazy thing. After y'all sent me that, I got like 10 messages from females. That's like, that dude was in my inbox trying to hit on me. I was like, wow, that's wow. crazy. Really? Because <laughs> <laughs> once, once I posted that picture, my DMs was going off like, hey, skill. This dude was trying to holler, hey, skill. This dude showed me his penis. I'm but like, wow. Yeah. Yes. I'm that's, like, this dude, I'm like, wow. Yeah. This, he, he out here wilding. You need to Harvey Weinstein these people. And anytime they say something, just say, put it on blast and be like, hey, so everybody go, ooh, me too, me too, me too, me too. That's why it's called the Me Too movement. <laughs> yeah. But it, oh, ooh. I, I think I just scare people, so I don't get those comments 
But then again, with the video with me doing the whips is probably why mm -hmm. I don't get those comments because they're like, she will find me. Yes, I will. <laughs> but yeah, people, but like people are bold on yeah, the internet. But in person, in person, oh. they won't bust a great. But on the internet, oh, you talking all boss and mad shit now. Oh, okay. You remember when we went live with you? You remember that person was saying all that crazy stuff in the live? And I'm like, what the world? It was some crazy stuff. I'm just like, oh, yeah. I, I see when I do my lives, I kind of ignore stuff like that. I was like, they, they, they just trying to, they just trying to get a reaction. They trying to get some fame. So I don't even pay attention to that. But yeah, they were saying some wild ass shit. I was like, yeah. the fuck? Yeah, so you're, you're like, they don't. Like, what in the world? In my mind, I was like, dude, they don't even know you. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> hmm. I'm literally scrolling on your page looking for that fool. Oh, oh, <laughs> Divas. Divas. Oh, yeah. Divas. Um, from my gaming team, I was made my fighting gaming team because, um, so of course we have different fighting games, mostly um other games. But our main game we play is Tekken, and my guys kept telling me, "Hey guys, since we love Tekken much, we should cosplay Tekken." And I was like, "Hold up!" And I sent them a picture. And I sent them the picture of y'all doing Nina and a William, and they were losing their mind. They were like, "Hey, who are they? The Nina autograph? We need to do a cosplay with them, please." Oh. They find us. I was like, "Hey." I'm gonna talk to the divas and see if they want to take and Yeah, we're I mean, down for a collab. <laughs> we're we're all fans of blurs, man. So get it. <laughs> so I know, like, when I show like my own team that picture, they lose their mind. I'm like, I'm gonna go this picture. I know, I know they were coming. Oh. <laughs> it's about did you find it yet? I ain't find it yet. I'm still scrolling. That was crazy. I think. I think Diva, it's it's still in my inbox with Diva, so I think I can screen. I think I can send it to you, but I, it's it's on down. Oh, let me see if I can do that real quick. Oh, quick question, guys. Well, not a question, but it's like crazy. Like the like when we're discussing, it's kind of like going into like the next question. <laughs> but, right. <laughs> so like the other thing, the other question. Um. I guess were you guys okay with moving on to the next one? Yeah, um, sure. I yeah. Guess, yeah. I, I'm I'm so stuck on uh, this. Number game. number four, right? Number four. Like, wow. Yeah, <laughs> you on it? <laughs> I shook my head. I said, I was like, <laughs> okay. So for like the next question, like, what are your thoughts on like um, non POCs cosplayers, like um, cosplaying characters with darker skin and like modifying, making their skin darker? To be more Fuck no. They should not do that. I don't think they should they do should. that. They, yeah, they shouldn't do that. Listen, that's, that's a big no, no. That's like blackface. I understand why they do it, but they should never do that. Some people don't do that for a whole intent, though. Not always. That's why I say I understand why negative. they do it, but they still should no. do it. Because I just got on cosplays of color for sharing um a couple cosplayers who necessarily didn't do that because it also falls on the um, photographers too in the editing process mm -hmm. um they were doing this um overwatch cosplay group or whatever at um Castle Con 2019 Ooh, okay i know you're talking about i know you're talking about yeah and um the cosplayer was um she was cosplaying as sombra and she is very very pale skin but the photo her skin was dark as shit and i saw it and i was like <laughs> At first, like, I was just scrolling through. I just saw the photo edits and everything. I'm like, okay, this is cool. And my girlfriend sent me the um, um, the post again. She was like, yeah, this is blackface as fuck. I'm like, what? So now I actually looked at the picture again, and I, like, started analyzing it. Because, you know, when you first glance, you're just scrolling. I'm like, okay, that's yeah. cool, and you just keep going. But, like, when you actually take the time and look at it, and you actually start seeing it, I went to a whole girl's page and shit, and she is paler than pale um so i hit them up and was like hey guys look um i, I know y'all said y'all did your research y'all said it won't backface but even though the photographer did the editing and the lighting this still counts as blackface because this is not their original skin tone someone has edited their skin mm -hmm. to make them darker to fit a certain aesthetic and that's not cool mm -hmm. Because I, I feel as though 
like for the non PC, non POCs, if they want to cosplay a dark character, they can do it. Mm-hmm. Like, do not do not change your skin to a dark color, like you said, because it's blackface. Do it, do it, do it well enough where you could get get as close as that character because we we already know if you try to cosplay we already know who that character is you don't have to change your skin because because yeah, yeah, that 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 be that's like that's that's racist because mm-hmm. from back then you know how they used to look like um what's what was that character name um blackface with the big red lip was it anti uh, yeah sambo, sambo. yeah because that's that's and that's when where they it's don't all. know the history history exactly of why exactly it wasn't just black <laughs> actors that did it it was the only way that black performers could legally perform, perform. on any stage they had to darken mm-hmm. their face so that when the cops came in they go. couldn't say there were black people on that stage i'm and, sorry and, and, my mama yeah, told that story too. My mama told that story. Cause, so, so, Cause somebody white came to me and sent me a message. I was like, dude, you can't do that. And I told him history. That's like, we not, we not, this, this is the reason we saying you cannot blackface. You cannot, you cannot change your skin color to this because it started from this. And we, and I, I like this lady and she was like very humble. She said, I'm not racist. I said, I know you're not racist. I, I could tell by the conversation we having, but to save you for being embarrassed and being ashamed, do not do that. And she said, well, I thank you. And I told her, get as close to the character you can that is that is of that is of color. But do not, and I repeat, do not blackface, do not change your skin, any of that at all. Yeah, it goes to show you too, like how we how forgiving we are, because we're not, you know, straight up bashing and bashing. We trying to talk to them, explaining them why you should not do this, you know, mm-hmm. before they go and make a fool out of themselves again. You know what I mean? And they'll sit there and be like, "Oh, are you guys gonna call me like the white version of da 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 da?" No, we're not telling you we're gonna call you that. We're just saying, do not do blackface, please. <laughs> right. Because right, because have you seen? Because have you seen any of us cosplaying a white character and we change and we doing white face? Or Where? we changing our skin to white. No, nope, no. Nope. Then, a, then I hear then I hear argument is oh blah blah blah. You say you always want you always want to do the cosplay you want whatever your way. Blah, blah, why can't I do cosplay the way I want? And then I, I hear them bring them because down. Because you don't want to get your ass beat when you go outside and you're amongst people. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's a good story. You, know, <laughs> you know the history. You should know why you should not do that. <laughs> right. And like um uh, like one of um real woman of cosplay said she broke it down. That's that's the reason why you cannot do blackface. Mm-hmm. Amen. Right, that, that's a topic that just but anyway, you know, <laughs> but you know, they want they want to hear what, what they want to hear, so they probably gonna disregard what we say. So anyway, yeah. go ahead, bro. I hope I hope you I hope oh, you stay alive. So go ahead. Say all the time. Some right. people. Go so, ahead. Yeah, go just, do it. Please. Like, this fool man. don't even got a hundred followers. If he don't shut the fuck up with his old raggedy ass, all my oh, you see looking it? ass motherfucker. You <laughs> see it. <laughs> um has anyone ever heard of this called Dorara? Anyone heard of that show? Yeah. 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 So in in one of the shows, there's actually a uh, black sushi chef on this yeah. show. Simon. That was, one my, that was one of my first cosplays, Smoking. actually. That was one of my first. So I did that at Soccer Con. Soccer Con, I want to say 2017 to 18. There was another guy, a pale, short, white guy that was doing Simon as well. And he was really upset that no one, like, Recognize them, whatever, blah blah. I was like, okay, I was because the show's less than ever. I was like, no, because I'm like, no one sees me as a tall black suit, or whatever. So I'm just gonna do this cosplay anymore. And I was like, ah, oh, sorry, man. And I knew he loved the cosplay because we were talking about Son, his whole arc, all the episodes he got over, the fights he got between like um one stuff like that. So I knew he loved Simon, like the character from that so much. That's why he was calling him. But after he, no one was recognized, whatever, and stuff like that, he was like, I'm just not doing this cosplay anymore. And I just thought, I prefer, I'm like, dog, I'm sorry, man. I know you love the character. I just, I know what to say. I feel it. And I can tell he did definitely love Steve, though. He definitely did. Jeez. Somebody, somebody got a message. Message! <laughs> hey, message. My, nah, not me. My, I can tell. I know it ain't me. My phone dry as shit. <laughs> But um, 
yeah, like all of those like things as far as like what you are talking about, like we we definitely feel like the same way that you shouldn't like person shouldn't alter their skin complexion to cause a character that does have a darker skin. But what are y'all thoughts on like as far as like with more more black characters coming like on anime and things like that and like do you feel like I don't know like maybe there could be a pressure for more like black people to just exclusively cosplay those characters only or you know still mm-hmm. branch out cosplay any character you want. I feel like any can you want. I can do whatever you want wherever you like whatever because in yeah, because cosplay uh-huh. isn't exclusive to what color your skin is. Mm-hmm. Cosplay yeah. is for everyone. Um, if that was the case, you could only cosplay as whatever your skin color was, then it wouldn't be as big as it was. Sure. Like, I'd be fighting right. on a fucking daily basis. And, like, I'll pull up to your house and beat your ass. I'll knock on your door mm-hmm. with a picnic basket and be like, hey, you ready for this fight, motherfucker? And then, like, just go about my day because, like, cosplay is like what um my boy E said is like it's for everyone. Mm-hmm. It's for everyone. Mm-hmm. Like a, a character I enjoy may not be the same color of my skin. Like, do you know how often as a child I put a towel around my neck pretending to be Batman? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm pretty certain a lot of us did that shit. Like, um, you just run around pretending like you're your favorite superhero and everything. It, it's for everybody. These exactly. characters exactly. weren't created for a specific ethnic group. They were created to tell a story. And then, I'm sorry, I'm I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going on a soapbox now, but like, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cut it off right here. (laughs) Well, I was just gonna say is that, um, especially in the case of Marvel and the Mm X-Men, the story was created to hold a mirror to society and mm-hmm. say, okay, since you're not listening because we're telling you you're treating Black people badly, let's create these fictional people who are just so different from you and show you how your behavior is wrong. Yeah. But they missed the lesson. Yo, yeah, because yeah. Back um, when you argue that, because like when you, when you argue that point, because um, someone was like, well, I've seen him um, say this many times. I'm not going to put them out there because I hate this motherfucker. But um, he was like, I don't like um, my is comics it, to it, be is political. It, is it me? Is it no, me? no, no, it's not you. It's, it's not you. <laughs> it's not you. <laughs> like he, he said um, multiple times he doesn't like his comic books to be political. But I'm like, have you not been reading your comic books for like years? Comic books are yeah, political. <laughs> they drive off of political energy. Like using the X-Men example, not only did they... Um, hold a mirror to the status and the climate of the world they even put it in the narrative of the um yep. of the comic and even holds true in the movies um mm. whether you think they're good or terrible or not as far as them working with the governments trying to get equal rights uh-huh. for mutants yep which is what black people have been doing for centuries talk your stuff right since since they gave us that lovely boat trip like right it's it's been there like you mean to tell me that you know you don't like your comics political but back in the 1940s they sent captain america um fucking batman superman wonder woman everybody was going over to germany to fuck up the hit um hitler and all the nazis man what it was even it was a comic back then saying Captain America. This was on the actual comic. Captain mm-hmm. America punching Hitler in the face. And you talk uh-huh. about you don't want political. What, come, yeah. come on, dude. <laughs> and, and it was and then another one, like up to date. It was um I forgot the issue. It was a Spider-Man issue. Spider-Man was taking a picture of Barack Obama. That was pictured on the mm-hmm. comic. Wow. So, and like so how go ahead. Because, like, you know, I, I hear you, and, like, um, one of the more recent ones, which is, like, um, also ties into my initial dislike for um, the Captain Marvel movie. I did not like um, Carol Danvers, not because of the movie, but because of my first interaction with her in comics. Um, I don't know if anyone has read Civil War II. 
but she was, um, she, yeah, she was a yeah. She, I, yeah, I, I, I feel you. Yeah, she was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was my first interaction with her. That was my first time <sighs> seeing her in comics, getting a feel for her character for real, for real. Because before that, I've only seen her in like a char- playable character in um um Ultimate Alliance. Mm-hmm. So. Like that was my first time seeing her and she was like really about to profile people, go over there, wreck them and without e- them even committing a crime because an uh, inhuman had a power to see a potential future. Oh, that's like that movie. And what, mm-hmm. the, and, there, and what, the, was... and, and what does that sound like in today's world now? Go, <laughs> she going over there and profiling for no damn yep. reason. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and, so... I, and I and I can speak on it because I'm a police officer. Because I've been seeing this shit like, dude. Oh God bless. I you. had to stop. I had to. I had to stop once. Like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Well, he walking down the street. <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir, walking, sir, you keep, sir, sir, you keep walking. Get your ass in the car. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Walk down the street. Menacingly, oh, and I, and, he walked down the street menacingly. Oh, <laughs> and then I had to, I had to, I had to hold my composure because I was in uniform. I was like, mm, okay, sir, you have a nice day. You get in the car. I went. I told the sergeant, and the sergeant and me, we told his ass a new, we told his ass a new hole. I was like, bro, don't you ever do Thank that you. shit again, dumbass. Like that public. Thank you. <sighs> it's, it, it, it's, it, and then. I don't want to get on my soapbox, but it's it's hard. Get on your me. soapbox, bro. It's get on it. Do it. Do Fuck it. your shit, bro. You, you let me talk my shit. You talk game. your shit. Got our arm and hammer. Because it's hard. Which brand? It, it's hard for me because I get from from both ends. I'm a cop and I'm black. Mm-hmm. Once I and people don't understand. Once I take my uniform off, yes. I'm a black man. Once I yes. put my uniform on. I'm still a black man, but I have a badge. So, and like that's and like people call me, I like, oh, you are Uncle Tom. And by the way, that's that's not a that's not a bad slander. Uncle Tom was that's actually so a inaccurate. People who've so, never read the book always say that. It right. drives me crazy. Oh. And then I and I tell us, I do. There's more. There's more ways to get stuff done by protesting. Okay, you protesting. You doing the peaceful, correct? You protesting, but you fucking up the whole city and state that you are from. You got other people protesting that's not from your state messing up your city. How does that yes. sound to you? Yes. And they say, well, you ain't doing nothing. Say, dude, I'm a black man that's a police officer. I'm one black man. It's hard to try to do stuff by yourself in the world like this, but you, but you come into this world, but you got the, you got the, the mindset of what you want to do and how to help your people. There's been plenty of times I helped my people out and they was going to get seriously messed up by other cops. I said, dude, that's, that's how I'm helping. That's how you give back. That's how you give back. That's how you support your community. There's more, than, there's more ways you can do. If you want to stop this, become a police officer. Become a police officer. Become a lawyer. Become a prosecutor. Become a judge. Do something that could benefit our community. Get on your city council. You know? Get on the city council. Exactly. Do something. Get in the political world that can help. I think that tied into my Instagram rant from this morning. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm done. No, that's it's. We need more I of you. Feel, I feel for you, man. I feel for you. <laughs> we need more of you, more like you. And then, and then, we'll make a bad by me. I'm, I'll be the, I'm the type of cop that will actually get killed in the line of duty, and the ones that actually need to be killed, they get promoted or they get. They they go they go up in ranking. That's the crazy that's the crazy shit. I I thought of. I was like, damn, the good cops actually get killed for doing their job, but the ones that actually out here doing the fucked up shit, these motherfuckers get promoted. They stay alive. Why is that? Their old boy system. That's that's crazy. Yeah. That's a struggle, man. It, it is. Mm. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kill the mood, but yeah. No, that, oh, no, man. I, 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 you don't know how much I worry for you. Mm-hmm. And it, it, is, it is the mom worry I have for you because you are, it's because of you that I'm even sitting here right now. So, and mm-hmm. I think that is the story for many people. Mm-hmm. And so, I truly worry for you. I am not a religious woman, 
me and God, we've got our own little situation, but I truly pray for you every day yeah. to make mm -hmm. sure that you are being watched over and people are protecting you because mm -hmm. you are doing an extremely difficult job, especially in the current climate we are in. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I just, I'm like, I know he's a good one and I know you tend to like to take the good early, but can you let him stay around for a good 50, 60 <laughs> years? <laughs> Would be lovely. So I'll shut up. No, because this is a lot of shit that people will say, like, oh, I would do this, I would do that, whatever. And they don't. They're just saying it just to, like, put on a front, whatever. You're actually doing it. Mm -hmm. And not only doing it, you're not, like, you're not, like, bloating about whatever. You're not talking crap about, like, oh, I would do this, do that, whatever. You're taking it with pride. Not only that, whatever, you're using it, teaching others, with helping other people that might have certain few of things, getting a bigger or definite, better view of things, whatever, and all that. Right. I'm not gonna lie. I'm the person. It's not about anime or video games. I really don't pay attention to it. It's stuff I need to hear. For so <laughs> I feel like this is why my younger siblings, my younger sisters, my younger brother, they watch the news, stuff like that. They preach on me. Like, hey, yo, you need to watch it. You need to pay attention to stuff. You need to hear these stuff in people's lives. This is stuff I need to actually hear. So I'm actually glad to hear this today. And I'm glad to get this opportunity to hear this personally from you, from your story, or whatever. It, it brought. Most of this broadens your horizon, even just a little bit. Anything that provides it, even just by a little bit, is never unwasted. Never, never. So I'm glad to hear this. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for what you do. Yes. Seriously. Like in the bed and, you know, uniform and out of it. Yes. You're a superhero, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last question. So we're on our last question, guys. And thank you, everybody, seriously, like, participating in this. Like, this is like, just been awesome, like, with the questions and just everything else, like, how it ties in. So, appreciate Most definitely, it. definitely, because I think we, we, need, we, need more, so we, we need more of this, though, for real. Once this is done, you know, <laughs> <laughs> okay. this is what we need. This is what we need more of. We need more of this, really. Yeah. yeah. Um. So for the final question, what do you think needs to be done to combat colorism and body shame? This, this is what we're doing right now. We need to keep doing this and we need to keep spreading that message out because the younger, exactly. and even the people that are our age, there are people that are, I met someone that's my age that say, yo, I don't want to cosplay no more because this person is making fun of me because of my skin color. And I pulled them, I'm not, I don't cosplay a lot, but when I do, I do it with pride. So I actually pulled this person to the side and was like, yo, you better not quit. Until his day, I'm friends with that guy now. I met him. It was a random person at a con, and I pulled him to the side. And me and him are best friends. I talk to him every day now. So we just got to keep spreading that word because these gatekeepers and these people that's trying to limit our imagination, because that's really what they're doing. Cosplay is about our imagination. You can't put a limit. Mm -hmm. You could try to put a glass ceiling over it, but we're going to break through it. That's what they're trying to do. That's what gatekeepers are doing. They're trying to put a limit exactly. on imagination because for some reason, they don't want to see us elevate. Why? I don't know. They don't want to see us elevate. They might feel like, oh, he thinks he's better than me. No, I'm just trying to elevate for myself. I'm not trying to bring you down. I'm just trying to elevate myself and elevate my people. They're, they're afraid of change. They're afraid of what could yeah, be. Yeah, they're afraid of change. So we just got to keep spreading this message and putting the word out there. So, and like he said, basically. You speak up when you got something to say like that. Man, what? That. Yeah, yeah, that's me. That's me. That's me. He bring that fire. He bring that fire. He the fire all right. I, I knew he had something in him. He was quiet for a minute. He made, he made me feel inspired. I was like, I'm going to go out and right. break today. Off of this. Hey, we should give him the mic more break. often. You know what? <laughs> you to, I, I, I approve gas. Shit. Holy cow. I had a strong voice. But like, he, but like he said, like the younger, like we got to, we have to be, we have to, first of all, we have to eliminate that crap in the bucket mentality. We have to get that out, get caught, cause they, cause we known for holding each other down. Once we see one black person coming great, mm -hmm. okay, nah, you doing too much. Let me bring it back down. We gotta like, you know what? Let's actually help him, cause once he out and make it, he may come. He may, but well, ain't no may, but he will come back and help us. Right. And another thing, the little ones, cause they watch everything we do. 
mm-hmm. they they watch it. They want to be like us because they seem like what we doing. Like, oh, this is cool, and it shows them that they are not limited in a certain box. They can go way out the box and become something they always wanted to be because what we're doing. So we just got to keep striving more unity. Like I always preach, what's the word? U-N-I-T-Y, unity. Because that's how we going to get it. Because unity will make everything happen. It's a movement. Right, right. And by us having stuff, having panels like this, uh, collaborate, doing interviews, um, featuring other cosplayers, reaching out to other cosplayers. That's how everything works. That's, you, you shouldn't you you are setting something in motion, a movement in motion that this is something great you can do. Mm-hmm. And we have to, and like as men, we have to start speaking up and taking care of our queens. Queens, we have to stop belittling our brothers and mm-hmm. start lifting them up and pushing them out there because it's a struggle for us. We all in the same boat try and try to make a better cause for our people, but we are limiting ourselves because we always bashing one another or degrading one another and we have to stop doing it. What they say. I definitely want to say I definitely want to say like Yeah, what he said. <laughs> I can't say it any better than what they they say. Like it's it's that's pretty much the gist of it. Mm-hmm. He's like he's doing more stuff like this. Um creating more spaces for us too. Um, I know we got um, Blurred Con, we got um, HBCU Con. Dragon um, Con. But like, we, we definitely need um, more spaces just um, for us because a lot of times we don't really be comfortable um, going to conventions like KatsuCon. Like I hated my experience at KatsuCon. I know you guys had a, um, a bad experience too. Um, but like I hated both my experiences at Capsicon because it just felt so elitist. Yeah. Um and I never got that feeling at um BlurredCon. Like BlurredCon was like no, I don't has anybody else been BlurredCon before? We were going to go. Yeah, I was trying to go, but I got a whole list Man. of cons I That's my different space. It's a different space. Yeah, Blurred Con is man. like going to a family reunion and everybody is just welcoming to you. Um, there is a parking lot on the side of the hotel where there's like a bunch of um, street vendors where like you can get like some dope street tacos or um, was- some ramen or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, one year they actually had an actual food again. grill <laughs> and was cooking out and like there's just like food and everywhere. It's a 24 hour party. There's always a DJ downstairs spinning um 24 hour games and music and like the best part is that it's everyone there looks like us uh did you go last makes a huge difference hmm? yeah i went did last year con? um no not because i blur con you went to blur last year yeah you want to know how i knew it was like family reunion you want to know how i knew how when you go outside whatever where the tour if you go outside where um someone came up with speakers and they started playing shot shot slide yep. <laughs> <laughs> always ah. <laughs> always man like it's 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 an amazing feeling there like because it's nothing but love there's like because you know like no i don't know if anybody else here can sense energy when they walk into a room yeah. but it's yeah. just like a great energy like all throughout and everything and it's just it's just a great time to be had and everything like i highly recommend um, going to BlurredCon, or if you're um, not close to BlurredCon and you want something closer to your area, um, meet with a group of people like this and try to start setting something up because our Go to our a people park people and have a party. Need it more. Yeah, true. Our, our people definitely need it more because like, it allows you to forget or escape um, everything that we have to deal with on a daily basis. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, like, you know, shit, I woke up, I'm black again. Fuck, all right, let's do this. Like, you, you get to escape that. Because, <laughs> like, cause, don't act like y'all ain't never woke up like that. You're like, shit, I'm black again. All right. Because <laughs> you know what you got to deal with being black. Yeah, man, I thought yeah. I was supposed to be white today. Like, <laughs> like, why can't I just, like, have privilege for, like, an hour? An hour of privilege. Do you know what you can do with an hour of privilege. An hour. 
Sixty. If you watch hour. Lovecraft Country, yes. that's the story. Yes. I, I can't get into Lovecraft Country. We can't really talk about that. Like I, I promised my girlfriend, I was gonna watch okay. it with her. We only but, see episode uh, one. Remember what Dude. you just said, because when watching it, yep, yep, you will go, Dude. holy crap. Dude, you gonna you gonna freak you gonna freak out. I did this is good. It's a, it's a good freak out. Cause like one one thing we we loved about um Lovecraft Country when we watched episode one is that like the horror aspect isn't the monsters. When the monsters mm. come on, you feel relieved. I'm like, oh right. shit, I forgot this was fantasy. Fuck that you can deal with. It. <laughs> but the fuck and and the fuck the fuck up part. The like you said, the monsters wasn't the problem. It was the white people. They was like mm -hmm. these motherfuckers. Yeah. And then when the monster came, he was like, "Oh shit, no nah, man, we good." <laughs> <laughs> I still, I I say this over and over again. How much do I love Lovecraft Country? Because I love the knowledge that H.P. Lovecraft is spinning in his grave right now. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, we put your stories on HBO and it's being told and directed and show run by black people. <laughs> by, a black, by a black woman and two black men. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yep. Yo, um, but mate, you said you said you said you on you on episode you on episode one, right? Yeah, we um we were Thank able you. to see episode one early, okay. but um we don't have um HBO, HBO Max, Max or anything like that. So what I'm probably gonna do um this paycheck is just grab HBO Max for the for us, and we can just go on a um a splurge or a binge. Spoilers, no spoilers, please. That's 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 what I used to do with HBO all the time. I'd wait till it's almost like the end of whatever season, then purchase it for a month, binge watch everything, and then get rid of it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you this. When you, when you get to episode, what episode was that? When you get to episode, because they five, said episode you, five you was freak, like a real you mind freak fuck. Yeah, you gonna yeah, you gonna freak you gonna freak out. Episode five gonna be like. Dude, that's when you that catch was, up, we don't have that's, all, all that shit was dark. Talk about <laughs> <laughs> no, because like what we were watching last night, we had to turn it off. And that, it just, this goes into another thing, um, something that will help. Um, this is like more of like on a bigger media scale. We were watching um, season two of The Boys. And um, I don't know if, uh, yeah, see. Mm -hmm. So you've seen episode start. three, right? I got to start watching it. It's like, it was either episode three or episode four. Um, and I don't want to spoil anything, but like, just just prepare yourself to be traumatized as a black person. Oh wow! wow. Watching oh, the wow. boys because like it's I'm I'm really tired of um, shows using our trauma as entertainment. Mm -hmm. Like I understand right. you're trying to create a message or right. like you know portray a message but like you don't have to like continually traumatizing us to get that message across like we live this every day every time another video comes up of um like a, another Philandro Castell video comes up another um um Brianna Taylor shows up another like we're tired of you know seeing these viral videos mm -hmm. why do you have to show us our trauma and 4k hd <laughs> and something that's supposed to be escapism for us yeah like mm -hmm. just, <laughs> like it, 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 it was so bad um that we me and my girlfriend just stopped watching like after that episode went off because it was like it didn't yeah. have the mental capacity to just keep going like it wasn't what something where like you wanted to see what happened next yeah. because you I already know what happens next because we're living in the timeline right now <laughs> you know you know what I'm like that with the um with that show on Netflix I still haven't watched it to this day what's the name of it uh what about show? the five the five guys in Chicago was the five Bloods. was it no, not, not oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I know what he's saying, but I can't remember the title now. That going in. Oh, oh, the guys that were incarcerated, but then uh -huh. released um, the central, about Central about the Central Park Five. Five? Yeah, the, the Central Park Five. There we go. I still yeah. haven't watched it because they say, uh, they say, because the way they were telling me, they said, "Dude, you are gonna be serious." So I can't. I, 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 I still I, haven't watched it. I remembered I, when all that happened because that all happened in my city. 
Mm. And I, mm. I, I remember going, and I remember as a woman being horrified that why, why, just for every woman, mm-hmm. it's, that's, that's one of your biggest fears. That is one of your biggest fears. But then we didn't have, like now, anytime something like that happens, there's so much media on it. But I remember the whole, and I remember Trump saying, shove them away, this, that, and the other thing, and to find out it was all wrong. And I'm just like, and at the same time that that movie came out, there is another case in which a woman jogging was found dead. And they found this guy, this black guy, and said he was the killer. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, um, something's not matching here. Why do I think, because they, they've managed to prosecute this really fast. Mm-hmm. Why do I have a feeling that in a couple of years we're going to find out he didn't do it? Because everything oh. screamed. So you had that show going on and this in the news. And I'm like, I- I'm going to watch cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> when they that's, see that's us, that's the, name, that's the name of the show. Funimation. Yes, see when they see us. When they see us, yeah. Yeah, that's the Central Park Five. Yeah, I still, I still can't watch it to this yeah. day. I, I can't. Yeah, that movie done, but I mean the TV. That's not mm-hmm. bad. It was... mm. Yeah, I heard, I heard that too. I was like, I, yeah, I can't do it. I can't. There's certain. Mm. Uh, I got a quick question. If we got more for a question. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, who has been to Katsu? Been to Katsu? Yeah, Katsu Yeah, once in 2016. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, I think Spider. I didn't enjoy Katsukon? it. Based on what y'all saying, I'll probably never go. <laughs> okay, so I'm not I mean, going to so, so I usually go every year because me and my friends, we still like a whole party at Katsukon. And um, I keep always hearing all things about it, but I've never physically seen one. So one year, I want to say last year, I had this giant sign. I had a giant sign that says T-A-I-C-C. And I was just going up to people like, hey, you can take a picture of the sign. So it says just thick. So I go to these group of cosplayers, and I was like, at first I waited for a second, whatever. Was, um, they were sitting down eating, talking, whatever. And I was like, hey, excuse me, don't bother you. Um, can I get a picture of your sign? I get a picture of your colleague. And they looked at me really funny and like, are you not part of the committee? And I was like, um, I'm not sure what you're talking about, whatever. She's like, well, one, actually, polite. you're not taking some pictures of, you actually asked for a picture. And two, you got literally blading cosplay saying it's a mistake, this, that, and the other. We're not used to that. We're the people taking pictures where they want, talking this is bad, this bad, you explain whatever. So this is weird for us. And I was like, this is what's been going on at Coxon. And, and, it's, and it's funny, like, as much as I've been going for years, I guess I didn't really start going or paying attention what was really going on. So when they told me that, I was like, this is wild. This is like really going on. So I was like, hey, I want to talk to the cosplayers and figure out, like, what is actually really going on about how to think. Because I really think they were doing something like that. Especially, like, people, like, when you go to a con or anywhere in general, you think you want to go there to mix up, have fun, a little bit of schism, you know, away from home, parents, work, whatever that work. Why would you want some, uh, that away from somebody else? Like, why? I didn't think we would really do that. And finally, people started telling me more. My brothers, my sisters, my friends started telling me more. Yeah, I guess I, I live in my own world. I'm a little bit of schism. I really don't put it outside. So when people started to that, I'm like, wow, this is actually stuff I need. And the BS like just go on. So I'm just like, I'm getting more about whatever. Talking to them about, hey, your story, this, what, that. Why is this even going on the first place? Um, just grow little by little. Especially almost being 30 years old, I'm still learning a lot of stuff. Not only just about the community and everything in between. Just you will continue to keep learning. I'm 51 years old and I'm still learning. So, right. You know. Everybody don't know. Everybody don't know everything. So it, it, it's life. In life, you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn lessons each and every day. Mm-hmm. That's how it is. Because everybody don't know everything. And it's what you do with what you've learned mm-hmm. that makes all the difference. Yep. Exactly. Give a fuck, Katsukon. Oh. 
I feel like if you go with the right people and don't talk to anyone else, it's, oh, it's no, 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 don't I, get I, wrong. I, it wasn't the people I went with, it was Katsukon. Fuck Katsukon. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I don't get it twisted. I love the people I went with, they're some of my best friends. I will go to a con with them any given day, even through like some disagreements, but fuck Katsukon. Yeah. Because I know, right. not, not we were, just Katsukon. Um, Anytime I go to con, I have my small group and I sit them. That's it, whatever. I, I have like, hey, I'm going to do this panel, this arcade, that's it, whatever. Staying outside, I try to stay away from whatever. Because some stuff behind the scenes, like when I started seeing stuff going on behind the scenes, I'm like, yeah, I don't want to be a part of that. I'm cheap. No. Yeah, because like the the bullshit that they did to us, um, we were at BlurCon table because I'm very good friends with BlurCon. Uh, we were just hanging out there. Um, DJ Taylor Senpai was spinning, and um, like he normally does at a convention wherever he's at the BlurCon table, um, and we're just having a good time. Um, you know, when I say we're, I mean black people are having a good time because he's playing our music. Then you have the other white cosplayers who are trying to stand in line for a photo booth that is right across the blur um, from the blur con table. They're blocking up the aisles. Security kept coming by over to where we were saying, one, our music was too loud. We need to turn it down. You can only hear the music in the vicinity of where the table was, but okay, we adhere to the, um, what they said. We turned the music down. You turn the music down, they come back again. Like, oh, well, you're blocking up the aisles. We weren't blocking up the aisles. It was the line. But you know what? We adhered again. We moved closer to the table. The line was still blocking up the aisle. So they came back and they were like, all right, no, you you guys just need to shut down because, like, it's causing way too many problems. And you're not paying for the electricity over here. You have to pay upwards to 500 per outlet. And so I spoke up because I got pissed off. I'm like, so what about that white bitch over there who's charging up her phone? She paid five hundred dollars to charge up her phone. Oh my gosh! No. Mm. Okay. Man. You know so you don't call the white girl. Five <laughs> hundred. No, I lost my shit. I lost my shit because oh, like I had been oh, harassed by security crazy. from that morning on because they, that was when they added security in, so you couldn't get into the building without even having a badge or a room key. If you were there just for um, the convention, you had to go through the back to get your um, go pick up your badge. And if you had a room, you had to pull up on your um, phone whether or not you had a reservation or not to even get into the hotel. Mm-hmm. That's too much. I yeah. remember that. And then not only that, they have roving depends, security depends, going depends on in. They're holding yeah. an event in the hotel, mm-hmm. not exclusive for hotel guests. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it got uh, to the like it was so the fat because they also the had ridiculous. roving security going around in common areas on the um, on the level where people mainly take photos and shit and security is also harassing the POC people. Mm. And I, I pointed it out because I just sat there and watched them just to see what the groups they were targeting. They went after all the black people. Anytime there was a group of black people, they went and asked them for their badges and room keys. When there was a group of white people right next to me, right next to me, just doing the same thing me and my friends were doing, just left them alone. Please tell me that one, this was captured Mm. on video and through pictures and whatnot, and it was sent to the people who are running KetsuCon. Mm-hmm. Oh, I already like took it up to them. They, okay, they came a little bit more lax this previous year because I went 2020 against my will because my girlfriend wanted to go and I didn't want to go. But you know, you know, you know I take it this goes. happens earlier in the year. So, um, when all of this happened, um, this was like 2019. But yeah, okay. it happened on um, February. It's always in February. Oh, um, okay. Because I'm like, what COVID? But, yeah, okay, yeah. February. Yeah, yeah, this this was before COVID. Okay, so they're they are... still having it. They're having it in twenty twenty one February. Well, for now. No, it's canceled. Have they been? <laughs> have they been made? Oh, I, aware I, haven't, heard, of... I haven't heard. I haven't heard of the cancellation yet. But have yeah. they been made aware of this 
via social media because once you put stuff like that on their social media they want it gone as soon as possible and that's what oh baby i blasted the fuck out of them okay <laughs> okay <laughs> I, you I know i think it you live. did but i had I to went ask. on facebook live and talked about it i went on Beautiful. instagram live good. and talked about it good um my buddy and i didn't even know my buddy kenny he actually works um for the um Katsukon staff mm -hmm. and um he knows the security guy because he told me this even one of the um the shareholders for Katsukon was mm -hmm. harassed that year oh as a black man okay. wow they harassed him didn't know who he was or anything and was harassing him so it caught his attention and when i went on blast it caught everybody's attention so Good. you know they they fixed some things not everything because there's still um a are they hiring local security I, i'm sorry where does this take place um dc or the national harbor okay so they they do they hire local people to come in and from what i security? understand it's um more of a uh a security um a security force that they hire i don't know okay. necessarily if it is local or not okay but um it's um not actual law enforcement just like some security officers there rental are some I, I, I like baron i like baron they're um, a security like rent company they give dc so they'll get them for that one so you can whatever thing usually okay. from thursday uh, monday yeah because the reason i ask if um because and i've seen this happen for various types of events where they hire a security but they the security doesn't understand the event mm -hmm. and so they go in with their regular it's it's like i will hand it to new york city cops for the labor day um parade which is the big west indian thing here and everybody's you know the jump up and wind up and everything and people are winding up on the cops and they're used to it and they're just like we're just gonna stand here and we know that this woman's rear end is grinding on us, but we're just going to stand here and then we're going to just step away and walk away. <laughs> but they they know what to expect. So for the most part, they know how to handle it. But I think for some other events, depending on what it is, your security force doesn't always know what they're in for. Mm -hmm. So they come in with their, well, that just can't be right because Black people are in costume. They must be doing it to do something nefarious. We gotta, you know, and they need the, whoever hires them has to sit down with them and say, you cannot do this. If you are not able to handle this and you are not able to understand this, we will go with another company. Mm -hmm. And that's what needs to happen to, to make a good experience. Cause you should not have a bad experience right. going there because of how they run the place. Right. Exactly. You know? A bad experience could be your costume ripped or you got a headache. Yeah. But your bad experience should not be security is following me. Mm -hmm. Facts. So I almost beat up one cosplayer too. I to a convention where all you guys are there. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, after, like after all of that stuff happened to me, like there was this like, because um, the Spider-Man PS4 game had just come out. So if anybody's played the Spider-Man PS4 game, y'all know about Spider-Cop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My yeah. son would know. He has yeah. it. Spider-Cop pulled yeah. up behind me while I was in Miles Morales and asked me to see some identification. Oh, hell no. Neon Spidey saved that boy's life. <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause> if... <laughs> Did he think it was funny? Yeah, he he thought it was he thought it was funny. He was just uh, like, you know, being Spider Cop. Like he meant no ill will yeah. behind it. Uh, I know okay. he didn't. But it was just because like he came up to me at the wrong part of the day after I had dealt with all of this mess with yeah. security. The last thing I wanted somebody to joke with me about was some damn identification. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> damn I'm in cosplay. I, yeah, I hear it. That one too. Cause like, <laughs> cause like, well, yo, I don't know. Be something else. he saw me tense up and neon just jumped right in front of me and started handling the situation. Cause I don't talk. <laughs> well, I don't talk. I, I, hey, I move. <laughs> your song, your song need to be try Jesus, not me. 
because I don't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like. After that, like we just went up to the room. I got out of cosplay. I don't. I didn't leave the room for the rest of the night. <laughs> Cause I, Damn, I was just bringing this, this bad sad, energy bro. with me. And I was ready to fight. <laughs> this sad. and and it. Oh God, and me and the reason I made blurred over because stuff like this. I hate and I hate to hear stories like this because it's supposed to be a fun and safe place, but shit like that kind of they kind of like damn dude. Like mm. when do what when does this shit end? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that, that's why I was like, we just need more spaces like this, because you know. I, yeah. I agree, and, and, and when I and when I ask people like, what do we like? What do y'all want? Like, do y'all do we need like the representation is getting there, but we need more conventions. We need more black. It, it needs to be more black conventions besides blurred kind and in the and Afro comic. It needs to be more not knocking them, but it needs to be more yeah. African American conventions for right. us. Because mm-hmm. going you to got, these you white got conventions, it it's well, it's it's not more. It's it Momocon. Momocon, you know, Momocon directors is more like white conventions. It's not. It's not predominantly black. Mm-hmm. It, we do more have stuff. Okay, I would say it's definitely. I want to say population wise, obviously more black people. They have more, more well, probably because it's Atlanta. That's why it's Atlanta. But yeah. when you go to conventions like that, uh, you see more black people than people. But, but that's because the location, because maybe it's black owned. But location wise, mm-hmm. Atlanta. We do have the Black Comic Book Expo mm. um, in Harlem um, at yeah, the Schoenberg. Um, um, Blurred kind goes there um, quite frequently. Were you guys there this year? Was Blurred um, Con there? I think Blurred Con has been there for like the past two years. I know Hilton is gone. Um, my right, girlfriend has came. I, I need to by. pay attention because I've gone the past two years. Mm-hmm. And, and where is this? It's, this is um, in, in Harlem. In Harlem. 137th Street, I want to say. Or mm-hmm. one one thirty one. 130, I think it's either one thirty seven or one thirty fifth, and um, it's free, and it's always Martin Luther King weekend, and um, I one part of me wishes they move to a bigger space because it is getting bigger and bigger, mm-hmm. but I'm not sure what space they could still use and still keep it keep it free. Because because it's free, it's allowing more people to come. Right. And I mean, my first year, um, my son was Superman, but he just like wore the suit with the white shirt and the glasses and had the Superman t-shirt underneath. And I was um, Catwoman, but my Catwoman was based off of a Eartha Kit disco Catwoman. So I have a fro and everything. And um, what one of my best memories of it was this little girl looking at me going, are you Earth a kid? And I was like, God bless your parents. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's wonderful to see the kids, mm-hmm. the kids there. And when they see an adult, you know, it, you know, in their cosplay, they're like, next year, can we do that too? Mm-hmm. And that's a beautiful thing. And it's the one con I I am cheap. <laughs> yeah, I, I, no, it'd be like that. I am it'd cheap. be like oh. I am cheap. I can't, you know, I, I've got two boys. You know, I am cheap. I spend money there. <laughs> I go there and I and it's the one con that I will spend money at because it's black artists there and i'm like i'm buying your t-shirt that t-shirt's a bit inappropriate for my son but he could wear your other one and i'll wear the inappropriate <laughs> one and i'm like you know i'll Make buy the artwork that's that's signed and i'm like i will spend money here why because this is about a community that my kids need to see this is about a community that i didn't see growing up you know mm. and mm-hmm. so and I'm just like, I want it to grow bigger, but I don't want it to get ruined. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That makes okay. sense. Yeah. Understood. So, mm-hmm. Understood. Yeah. And so like now hearing about like blurred con and this and that, and I'm like, holy shit. 
I, I found my people. Yeah. Where were y'all 30 years ago when I was really having an identity crisis? You know, we I had that just a few months ago. Right 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 like, yo, you got to appreciate this little bit of heaven you get. Like, geez. like, um, does anyone else ever get that, um, that so, feel when see you in your coffee? And you, I like, have to go. They look at you like, oh my goodness, you're my favorite character. Anyone got that yet? No. Um, yeah, but um, I got to go. Uh, I got to go pick up my kid. Um, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I've got to. to um, to I've got to run out too. However, um, the divas are the host of this, so I think if I leave, it will keep running. So um, just send me a message when you guys are done. Mm -hmm. um, are you recording to the cloud or to your computer? To the computer. Okay. Cool. Wonderful. So then I'll go in and take care of the rest of it on the back end. Okay. It was lovely, lovely, lovely meeting on all of you. If you find me on, I'm going to talk like an old person now. If you find me on the Instagram, <laughs> I am real woman of cosplay. I've already found Spidey and I've already found Theo. Micah, you're the only reason you, dude. Okay. That's enough. We were already following <laughs> Like, I think everybody was already following Micah. He's the only one that got to follow us back. Yeah, but I'm just like, he, he's, you have, oh, you, you have been, you know, you have been the one that has opened, you're, you're like in the Lion Witch in the wardrobe, and like, uh -huh. you're the fawn that like came and opened the wardrobe for me, and now, you've led me to my Narnia. So, um, enjoy. Um, I hope this doesn't cut off. It shouldn't because I'm not the host. But um, lovely meeting you all. Have a blessed day. Pleasure, pleasure. Mr. Rutherford, pleasure. it was lovely <laughs> to hear the few words from you because those uh, were important <laughs> words. <laughs> that was good. I had a lot of mouth like that. I, 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 no, I like it. It's like, I'm not going to say much, but when I say much, boom, hey. there you go. Hey, y'all going to hear it right. <laughs> you hear me. I'll him out in public. Much love to all of you. And if you're not registered to vote, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. That's Bye. what I have to say. Bye. Please. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> I got hit the button twice. What? OK. Right, see you. <laughs> Okay, now really bye. <laughs> uh, let me say, let me say this. I'm gonna get ready to go too. I got stuff to do. Uh, but thank y'all for having me on. It was great seeing everybody's a ten. We need more of this. And like again, I can't say thank y'all enough for the love and support y'all showing blurred over. Uh, I'm trying my best. I'm gonna keep going hard for y'all because y'all showing us mad love and support. And I think I follow every. I know I follow everybody on here. Correct. I know I yeah. do. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> so yeah, I was like, hey, I, I follow everybody. So, thank y'all for the love of support. Divas are the dime. They are awesome. They they got good genes and they family. Have y'all seen? They skin tone is lovely. It's like sweet Hawaiian rolls. <laughs> but, oh, uh, shout out to their family because I need, I need their skin. But, uh, <laughs> thank y'all. Uh, um, more great things coming. Got an interview mm. Sunday, so y'all check that out. Mm. But, thank y'all. Y'all stay blessed. Stay black and remember what's the word? U N I T Y. D was on the time. Thank y'all for inviting me. I love this. Let's do this again. All right. See you again. Thank you, Blurred Over. Bye. <laughs> no problem. All right. So, did y'all want to continue or we could? I mean, I think we could, I think we could end it. Yeah. But y'all might have stuff y'all got to do. Exactly. We don't want to take up y'all's time. But we appreciate you guys coming. Hey, can we do an end card? I want to do an end card because, like, they just did an end card. I'll do an end card too. Yeah, go right. ahead. Or an outro. I don't know. Yeah, go ahead. All right. So, of course, our our was saying, "Hey, D was on a dime. Thank you, blah blah, blah for being here." Over. But yeah. I want I want to give a little essay. I'm glad to be here. I feel like even indirectly, even if you do this without me, posted the video. Whatever. I could love. I'll get. I would enjoy watching the video, get new information. I like learning new stuff. Whatever. Because I'm not going to lie. I'm one of the people, I like to be in my own little world. You have to like, force me to get into like new information. Hey, Dale, you need to pay attention to this. You need to learn this. Why are you the news? You need to do that. Whatever. So little stuff like this, whatever, I'll look up, I listen, whatever. Just hearing every story, everyone's little piece of information, just push me a little bit further mentally, emotionally, whatever. Maybe a little bit smarter than I was like 
three hours and 20 minutes ago. <laughs> so just little stuff like that. So, he, so just the fact, not even just hearing all this, but being part of this, able to give my own experiences, my own eyes, my own opinions, stuff like that, my own mental process. I'm glad to have a little opportunity to not only get to see, but to as well. And I'm, I definitely would love more. I, I cannot thank y'all for whatever. I can't wait to just like hopefully like whatever. Go back the knowledge that I today. I can pass like my boys, my fighting team, brothers, sister, and all that, whatever. So once again, just thank you for like, being a part of this and hearing all this. I oh I need this knowledge. Oh man. <laughs> I'm, about go, I'm about to go and play some VR. I need a, I need a out and play some DDR. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Well, thank you for being a but, part um, of it, for real, of the project. It's mm-hmm. awesome. Appreciate you. <laughs> and? All right, Ruth, Ruth, you got something. I got to hear something. I ain't even say I'm like, something. I know. Before I leave, before I leave, I'm going to hear an outro. <laughs> Thanks for having me. And we just need to, like I said before, we just got to keep doing this and putting the message up because... I have a 12 year old brother who's just not getting into anime and I don't want him to experience what I experienced. Mm-hmm. My first cosplay, I experienced someone telling me that I shouldn't cosplay that character because he's not black. And like, it kind of got me upset. And I like, I don't like seeing that. I don't want to go through that. If he ever decides to get into cosplay, I want him to enjoy it. And I don't want his first con to be like a bad experience. Right. I just think all of us should just keep spreading the message and putting the message out there. And that's the best way to do it. Man, I, I just love his speaking voice. <laughs> I just have to stop and like listen. Like, <laughs> uh, I, I guess I'm the only one left here. <laughs> no. It was, you know, you can call me whenever you need me. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all asking me to be here. As always, it's a pleasure. You know what I'm saying? You know, I always stay on the lookout, y'all cosplays. Y'all, any, for anybody who's on this call, y'all know. If y'all have any problems with anybody, y'all let me know. I'll nip that in the book. <laughs> I, I got the clan with me, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I tell you, I, I'll put people on blast for real, for real. <laughs> nah, but yeah, I appreciate it again. I learned a lot of new things. Um, I got to see some new faces. Um, a, lot, a lot of great personalities. Yeah, I love the positivity. And this low-key had me thinking of some ideas for the future like maybe i'll make my own convention or maybe we'll make our own convention you know sure. well um you know in due time we'll talk more about it later yeah yes. well thank you yeah. all again yeah like we, we gotta do this you. again it was fun because we have a lot of cool people that joined us and we appreciate it yeah thank you all for your time just keep being awesome keep doing you we love you guys yeah, you keep being awesome <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a good